What I liked about Fading Gigolo is that it bounds straight into the plot with no messing about. Woody Allen goes to see his florist pal, John Turturro, and says, I have a female friend who fancies a threesome. Are you up for it? She'll give you some money. So they have some great dialogue, the two of them at the beginning, and then they meet Sharon Stone, who's the woman in question. She reminds you how good she is as an actress as well. And the second woman is played by Sofia Vergara from TV's Modern Family, who's basically there just because she's an unbelievable sex pot. Before you know it, John Turturro is basically whoring himself out and Woody Allen is his extremely unlikely pimp. And it's got this kind of energy and zest at the start of the movie. Then a subplot arrives in the form of Vanessa Paradis, who plays a Hasidic Jewish widow that John Turturro starts to fall in love with. But this subplot becomes the main plot and the gigoloing fades into the background and it loses a bit of its pace and its energy. But at the end of the day, it has this great double act between John Turturro and Woody Allen. And you have to say fair play to John Turturro, who has written and directed this film and then cast himself in the central role where he gets to sleep with some of Hollywood's most beautiful women.